Tour de Cruise Ports, Florence and Pisa. Table of Contents All about Florence and Pisa, including the port city of Livorno, with visiting and touring information, geography, history, attractions, and other points of interest. Dr. Sydney Soapcloth. Dr. Sydney 22 at gmail.com. 2022. Narration by Dr. Sydney Soapcloth. Zoe Fernandez. And Nathan Cole Tuff. For a more complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to this video using the link here. Florence and Pisa. The famous Italian region of Tuscany is on the western coast of Italy, just to the north of Rome. The famous centers of art and architecture of Florence, Pisa, and Siena are all in the Italian region of Tuscany. Florence, or in Italian, Firenze, is the capital city of the region of Tuscany. The historic town of Livorno is the main part closest to Florence and Pisa. From Livorno to nearby Pisa is just 12 miles, or 19 kilometers, and to Florence, it is a 49 mile, or 78 kilometers journey. Livorno is the third largest port on the western coast of Italy, after Genoa and Naples. The population of Livorno is 170,000. Livorno is interlaced with many canals. In English Livorno is also known as Leghorn. The Leghorn is a breed of chicken with origins in Tuscany. The first birds imported to North America in 1853 were called Italians and by 1865 the breed was named after the Italian city of Leghorn, more commonly known today as Livorno. Pisa was a Mediterranean port until the time the Arno River silted up. Then Livorno, which up to then was a small fishing village, became the main port. Florence is Firenze in Italian. This is the municipal coat of arms of Florence. Florence is about 150 miles, or 200 kilometers, north of Rome. From 1865 to 1870, Florence was the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. Florence lies on the Arno River and has a population of around 400,000 people, plus a suburban population in excess of 200,000 persons. The greater area has 1 million people. The Arno River in central Italy flows generally westward for about 150 miles, or 240 kilometers, from its source in the Apennine Mountains, to the Ligurian Sea. On its way it passes through Florence and Pisa. Many of the older bridges in Florence were destroyed during World War II. However, the Ponte Vecchio, or old bridge, built in 1345, and shown here, survived. Goldsmiths and jewelry shops line the Ponte Vecchio. This is the Ponte Vecchio and the Arno River in Florence. The Ponte Vecchio, or old bridge, stands out as being unique. The most striking feature is the multitude of shops built upon its edges and held up by stilts. The Ponte Vecchio also carried an elevated corridor linking the Uffizi to the Medici residence, the Palazzo P.T. This bridge was first constructed by the Etruscans in ancient times. This bridge is the only one in the city to have survived World War II intact. The Ponte Vecchio has many shops built on its edges held up by stilts. The History of Florence Florence began as a settlement established by Julius Caesar in 59 BC for his veteran soldiers. The settlement was named Florentia, meaning flourishing. 
It was built in the style of an army camp, with the main streets intersecting at the present Piazza della Repubblica. Situated at the Via Cassia, the main route between Rome and the north, and within the fertile valley of the Arno, the settlement quickly became an important commercial center. Emperor Diocletian made Florence capital of the province of Tuscia in the 3rd century AD. After the fall of the Roman Empire, peace returned under Lombard rule in the 6th century. It was conquered by Charlemagne in 774, and Florence became part of the Duchy of Tuscany, with Lucca as capital. The population began to grow again, and commerce prospered. This is Charlemagne's empire in 800 AD. In 1138 Florence became self-governing in 1422. Giovanni Bixi Medici was the founder of the Medici Bank, and was elected chief of the Republic of Florence. This began the long rule of Florence by the Medici family. As a center of medieval European trade and finance, Florence is often considered the birthplace of the Italian Renaissance, and was ruled for 300 years by the Medici family. Florence is also famous for its magnificent art and architecture. It is said that, of the 1,000 most important European artists of the second millennium, 350 lived or worked in Florence. The city has also been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. The historic center of Florence was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1982. Florence in the Renaissance The surge in artistic, literary, and scientific investigation that occurred in Florence in the 14th to 16th centuries was driven by the Florentines' money, banking and trade, and with the display of wealth and leisure. With the money from banking, the Medici sponsored artists such as Michelangelo. This is a portrait of Michelangelo by Buonarotti. Michelangelo Park affords a view of the historic city of Florence. As a sculptor, architect, painter, and poet, Michelangelo, who lived from 1475 to 1564, was a major influence in the Italian High Renaissance. His tomb lies in the Church of Santa Croce in Florence. In 1860, Florence was incorporated into Italy during the Risorgimento, and from 1865 to 1870 it served as the capital of Italy. During World War II, from 1943 to 1945, Florence suffered damage. All bridges, except for the Ponte Vecchio, were blown up by the retreating Germans. Notable residents of Florence include Galileo Galilei, physicist, astronomer and philosopher, and Dante Alighieri, poet and writer of La Divina Commedia. Notable residents of Florence also include Niccolò Machiavelli, a Renaissance poet and philosopher, and Michelangelo sculptor and painter. Also, Leonardo da Vinci with paintings, inventions, and scientific experiments, and the Medici family. In addition, there is Filippo Brunelleschi, architect, and the sculptor, Donatello. Sites of Florence This is a Florence sightseeing map. Many of the important sites of Florence are located near the Piazza del Duomo. Here are some principal points of interest in Florence. In the center of Florence are these important world-famous points of interest. This is a map of the center of Florence. This is the region of Florence near the Arno River and the Ponte Vecchio. The best-known site and crowning architectural jewel of Florence is the domed cathedral of the city, Santa Maria del Fiore, known as the Duomo. This is the Santa Maria del Fiore, the Duomo of Florence.
The magnificent dome was built by Filippo Brunelleschi. Filippo Brunelleschi designed the magnificent dome of Santa Maria del Fiore. This is the sculpture of Brunelleschi looking at the dome. This is Brunelleschi's dome of Santa Maria del Fiore. This is the front facade of Santa Maria del Fiore Duomo. The Duomo in Florence is constantly being cleaned to remove the effects of pollution. This is the Duomo in the evening sun. A nearby Campanile tower was partly designed by Giotto. Both the dome itself and the Campanile are open to tourists and offer excellent views. This is Giotto's Bell Tower. Or Campanile. The Battistero di San Giovanni or Baptistry of St. John is one of the oldest buildings in the city. Constructed between 1059 and 1128 in the Florentine Romanesque style. The baptistry is renowned for its three sets of artistically important bronze doors with relief sculptures. The Battistero di San Giovanni, or Baptistry of St. John, is thought to be the oldest building in Florence. It is particularly famed for its three sets of magnificent and artistically important bronze doors. The Battistero di San Giovanni is in the Piazza del Duomo, just to the west of the Duomo. Until the end of the 19th century all Catholic Florentines were baptized in this church. And it has the status of a minor basilica. This is the area around the Pizza del Duomo. This is the view of the Piazza del Duomo from the Loggia dei Lanzi Terrace. This shows the location of the Piazza del Duomo, the Uffizi, and the Ponte Vecchio. The Piazza della Signoria was named after the Palazzo della Signoria, also called Palazzo Vecchio. It is the focal point of the origin and of the history of the Florentine Republic, and still maintains its reputation as the political hub of the city. The Piazza del Signoria is the meeting place of Florentines as well as the numerous tourists. Piazza della Signoria is an L-shaped square in front of the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence. At the heart of the city, in Piazza della Signoria, is Bartolomeo Amanotti's Fountain of Neptune, a masterpiece of marble sculpture, at the terminus of a still-functioning Roman aqueduct. The Piazza della Repubblica was the center of the Roman town of Florentia, and still is the main square in Florence. This shows the location of the Piazza della Repubblica with respect to the Piazza del Duomo and the Ponte Vecchio. The Uffizi Gallery, or in Italian, Galleria degli Uffizi, is housed in the Palazzo degli Uffizi, and houses one of the oldest and most famous art museums in the world. This shows the location of the Uffizi Gallery, near the Arno River, and the Piazza della Signoria and Palazzo Vecchio. This is a hallway in the Uffizi Gallery. These are ceiling paintings in the main corridor of Uffizi. The Palazzo PT, or PT Palace, is a vast Renaissance palace in Florence. The main part of the present palazzo dates from 1458 and was originally the town residence of Luca PT an ambitious Florentine banker. The Palazzo PT is situated on the south side of the River Arno, a short distance from the Ponte Vecchio. The Palazzo PT was bought by the Medici family in 1549, and became the chief residence of the ruling families of the Grand Duchy of Tuscany. It grew as a great treasure house as later generations amassed paintings, plates, jewelry and luxurious possessions. The huge PT Palace is lavishly decorated with the Medici family's former private collection. The art gallery contained a large number of Renaissance works, including several by Raphael. Adjoining the palace are the Boboli Gardens, elaborately landscaped and with many interesting sculptures. This is the skyline of Florence as viewed from the Palazzo PT.
These are the bridges of Florence at sunset from Piazza Le Michelangelo. The Basilica di San Lorenzo, or Basilica of St. Lawrence, is one of the largest churches of Florence, situated at the center of the city's main market district. It is the burial place of all the principal members of the Medici family, from Cosimo il Vecchio to Cosimo the Third. The Basilica di San Lorenzo is one of several churches that claim to be the oldest in Florence. When it was consecrated in 393, the Basilica di San Lorenzo was outside the city walls. For 300 years it was the city's cathedral before the official seat of the bishop was transferred to Santa Reparata. This shows the location of the Basilica di San Lorenzo. Saint Minius was Florence's first martyr. He was beheaded in about 250 AD and then is said to have picked up his disembodied head, and walks across the Arno River, and up the hill Mons Fiorentinus, to his Eremitage, where the Basilica di San Miniato al Monte now stands. The Basilica di San Miniato al Monte, or Basilica of St. Minius on the mountain, stands atop one of the highest points in Florence. It has been described as the finest Romanesque structure in Tuscany and one of the most beautiful churches in Italy. Chapter 15 and 1504 The Palazzo della Signoria was the original location of Michelangelo's David. This has now been replaced by a reproduction, as the original was moved indoors to the Accademia dell'Arte del Disegno. The Accademia dell'Arte del Disegno or Academy of the Arts of Drawing, is an Academy of Artists in Florence founded in 1563 by Cosimo de' Medici. This shows the location of the Accademia dell'Arte del Disegno. The Piazza del Signoria was the location of the bonfire of the Vanities in 1497. A plaque in the middle of the plaza commemorates that event. The bonfire of the vanities was a burning of objects condemned by authorities as occasions of sin. Supporters of the Dominican priest Girolamo Savonarola collected and publicly burned thousands of objects such as cosmetics, art, and books in Florence. This was followed in 1498 by the execution of Savonarola. This work by Bartolomeo Amanity, 1563-1565, and some assistants, such as John Bologna, was commissioned on the occasion of the wedding of Francesco de' Medici with Grand Duchess Johanna of Austria in 1565. The Uffizi, which is Italian for offices, is located on the corner of Piazza della Signoria in 1301. Dante was sent into exile from here. A plaque on one of the walls of the Uffizi commemorates the event. This shows the location of the Piazza della Signoria, the Uffizi Gallery, and the Ponte Vecchio. Tourism is the most significant industry within the center of Florence. On any given day between April and October, the local population is greatly outnumbered by tourists from all over the world. The Uffizi and Academia museums are regularly sold out of tickets, and large groups often fill the basilicas of Santa Croce and Santa Maria Novella. Florence is also home to the legendary Italian fashion establishment Salvatore Ferragamo. This is notable as one of the oldest and most famous Italian fashion houses, not located in Milan. Gucci, Prada, Roberto Cavalli. And Chanel also had large offices and stores in Florence or its outskirts. Food and wine have long been an important staple of the economy. Florence is the most important city in Tuscany, one of the great wine growing regions in the world. The Chianti region is just south of the city. For the first time visitor to Florence, a good way to be introduced to the city is by a hop on hop off bus tour. An example of a hop-on, hop-off bus tour is one offered by City Sightseeing Florence. The fare is 22 euros for unlimited use for 48 hours. There are two routes. 
the red root, linea B, and the blue root, linea A. The starting point for both lines is the main train station. The duration for line A is 60 minutes and 120 minutes for line B. The frequency for line A is 30 minutes and line B has two tours daily at 10.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. This shows the stops of the two routes. The red route, linea B, and the blue route, linea A. There are several places where a transfer can be made between the two routes, including stop 1 near the train station. This shows the tour routes in the central part of Florence. Recommended videos Florence Recommended video. Florence top 10 things to do and see. 6 minutes. 12 seconds. Recommended video. Florence top 10 things to do. By Donna Salerno Travel. 3 minutes. 40 seconds. Recommended video. Florence. Heart of the Renaissance. Rick Steves. 25 minutes. Chapter 19 Pisa Like Florence, Pisa is in Tuscany and on the Arno River. Pisa is a rail and road junction and a tourist and industrial center. Chapter 20 History of Pisa Pisa Timeline Chronology of Events From 700 to 180 BC, the region was dominated by the Ligurians and later, the Etruscans, 180 BC, Pisa became a Roman colony. 300 to 580, barbarian invasions of Italy. 1004 Saracens raided Pisa. 1011 Pisa took the offensive and enjoyed victories over the Muslim invaders. 1063 Pisa raided Saracen held Palermo. 1096 Pisa joins Pope Urban II in the First Crusades. 1118 The Cathedral of Pisa is consecrated. 1153 Work is started on the Baptistry building at the Campo dei Miracoli. 1173 Construction of the Tower of Pisa begins. 1178 Work on the Tower stops. With only three tires completed. 1272 work resumes on the tower. 1276 Pisa is defeated by Florence. 1278 construction of the tower comes to a halt. After reaching the seventh tier. 1284 Genoa defeats Pisa at the Battle of Meloria. 1298 the tilt of the tower is first observed. And a commission is formed to investigate the cause and effect. A remedy. 1338. The University of Pisa is established. 1370. The Tower of Pisa is officially completed. 1509. Niccolo Machiavelli supports Florence in raids and attacks on Pisa. Pisa falls. And Rua passes over to Florence. 1633. Galileo is convicted of heresy during the Inquisitions. 1787. The tilt of the tower measures approximately 3.8 meters. 1902 The Bell Tower in Venice's Piazza San Marco, St. Mark's Square, collapses, generating fresh concern over the notable instability of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. 1907 1922 A string of commissions are formed to evaluate the state of the tower's tilt. No actions that improve the situation come forth. 1934 A Plan approved by the infamous Benito Mussolini, is carried out that nearly destroys the tower. 1943 to 1945 World War II. Though Pisa is ravaged by the war, the Campo dei Miracoli is mostly spared. 1964 to 1988 more commissions to assess the state of the tower are formed. But still, no solutions are forthcoming. 1990 The Italian government closes the Tower of Pisa due to concerns for public safety. 1999 Soil extraction is performed. This proves to be the definitive solution to the Tower of Pisa's stability.
2001 Pisa celebrates the restoration of the tower. In Etruscan town, Pisa became a Roman colony in the 2nd century BC in the 9th century AD. The city was a naval power. Pisa and its ally Genoa drove the Saracens from the islands of Sardinia and Corsica in the 11th century. The principal landmarks of Pisa are grouped in the area of the Piazza del Duomo, or Cathedral Square, about 1.5 kilometers, or one mile north of the central train station. The principal landmarks include the Duomo, or Cathedral, the Baptistry, and the Bell Tower, or Campanile. This shows the location of the Arno River and the Via Santa Maria leading to the Piazza del Duomo. This is the Piazza del Duomo showing the Baptistry, the Duomo, and the Leaning Tower. This is the Duomo, or Cathedral. The Duomo is a great white marble edifice in the Romanesque style, begun in 1063. This richly decorated facade was added in the 12th century. The Baptistry, begun in 1153, is a circular building in the Romanesque style, crowned with a great dome. The Baptistry was lavishly ornamented in the 14th century in the Gothic style. The Campanile, or Bell Tower, is known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and is a popular tourist attraction. The Leaning Tower of Pisa or simply the Tower of Pisa is the Campanile or freestanding bell tower, of the Duomo Cathedral of Pisa. The Campanile is behind the cathedral, and is the third oldest structure in Pisa's Piazza del Duomo, after the cathedral, and the baptistry. The leaning tower is cylindrical in shape, with eight arcaded stories. Construction began in 1174 but was suspended after three stories were built when the builders became aware that the shallow foundation would be inadequate in the soft soil. The structure was nevertheless completed by the second half of the 14th century, with the additional five stories being shaped so as to somewhat correct for the tilt. The tower leans almost four degrees. This is about four meters, or 13 feet from the vertical. The tower initially leaned at an angle of 5.5 degrees, but after the restoration works between 1990 and 2001, the tower now leans at an angle of 4 degrees. This means that the top of the tower is 3.9 meters, 12 feet, 10 inches, from where it would stand, if the tower were perfectly vertical. After 10 years of corrective reconstruction and stabilization efforts, the tower was reopened to the public in 2001, and has been declared stable for at least another 300 years. For the first time visitor to Pisa, a good way to be introduced to the city is by a hop on, hop off bus tour. For city sightseeing Pisa, the fare is 15 euros for 24 hours. Commentary is pre-recorded in Italian, English, French. Spanish, German, Chinese, Japanese, and Russian, and it is wheelchair accessible. This is a map of the two routes of city sightseeing Pisa, link for larger image. The starting point for both lines is the Piazza Arcivescovado Duomo, right next to the Leaning Tower. These are the stops for the two lines, both of a duration of 45 minutes and a bus comes by every 60 minutes for each route during operating hours. Note that stop 8 on line A is the railway station, and stop 9 is at the airport. Chapter 24 Recommended Videos Pisa Recommended Video, Pisa Vacation Travel Video Guide, 9 minutes, 33 seconds. Recommended Video, Hop on Hop Off City Sightseeing Pisa, 2 minutes. 31 seconds. Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.